Good morning everyone, this is Bernadette Custodio from BSE4A. I'm studying at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology, San Isidro Campus. Today, I am presenting Unit 4, Acquiring Knowledge and Skills to be a Global Teacher. Let's discuss first the objectives. These are to describe the critical attributes of the 21st century teachers and to make an inference of the aims of global education. Our first topic is the critical attributes of the 21st century. First, it is the adopting to constant personal and social change, and lifelong learning education is the 21st century subscribes to the belief that learning does not always take place inside a school, but also anywhere. Teachers should equip students' knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values, which are suitable to all circumstances and real-life situations. The other thing is the teacher should design a curriculum which will easily fit even outside the four corners of the classroom or beyond the school setting. We also have technologies and multimedia. The use of ICT in education is the new trend in teaching learning as it helps enhance the transfer and communication of knowledge. Teachers nowadays are required to possess digital literacy skills to keep abreast with the changes of times, particularly of the new approaches and methodologies in education. Likewise, teachers should teach the students the proper use of technology due to the proliferation of inappropriate use from various websites. The students also need to observe ethical use of ICT. Next is the student-centered education. That is the focus of the 21st century learning. Learning and instruction considers the uniqueness of each individual learner. The interests, abilities, and needs of the students must be taken into consideration in planning their learning experiences in the school. Likewise, it is also includes planning and designing curriculum that is suitable and relevant to a multicultural class. The critical attributes implies the teacher should be as a facilitator of learning. Integrated and interdisciplinary. Linking subjects from various disciplines, this means that the teacher needs to learn how to integrate themes from other subjects into his or her current lessons to make learning experiences of students more meaningful. For example, music and algebra can link together in the discussion of fractions. These critical attributes suggest that the acquisition of ICT skills should be made useful and fruitful of both parties, the teacher and the student. Last one is the project-based and research-driven. Among the critical attributes of 21st century education is the innovative approach to learning where students acquire information by gathering data, interview and come up with evidence and base decision through inquiry and research with the collective effort of a group. A global teacher is equipped with 21st century skills so he or she can face the challenges of modern day education and to help students to cope with the dramatic change in education that is a global dimension. We can now proceed to the other aims of global education. First, educate citizens in social justice and sustainable development. Second, open a global dimension and a holistic perspective in education to help people understand the complexities of today's world and develop values, attitudes, knowledge, and skills that will enable the people to face the challenges of an interconnected world. Number three, help learners to understand some of the complex processes leading to violence and conflicts at individual, collective, national, and global levels and how it can be prevented or resolved. Number four, develop learning communities in which learners and educators are encouraged to work cooperatively on global issues. Five, Stimulate and motivate learners and educators to approach global issues through innovative teaching and pedagogy. 6. Challenge formal and non-formal education programs and practices by introducing their own content and methodology. Number 7. 
accept otherness and interdependency and creating the condition for others to express themselves and build behavior of solidarity. 8. Develop alternatives when taking personal or public life decisions and reflect on the consequences of their choices, thereby cultivating a spirit of global responsibility of the citizens of the world. And the last, promote participation in action. In other words, it invites educators and learners to act dynamically for a more just and equal world for all. And that would be all for now. Hope you learned something from our discussion and hope to see you again next time. Keep safe.